because whoever reaches out to make an entree to somebody else creates what's called a flow of oxytocin. Talk about some of those chemicals. So oxytocin okay. is the feel-good chemical. Oxytocin is the feel-good bonding chemical, right? What the mother has with child or... It was first discovered as a lactating um, uh -huh. chemistry that this is part of what happens when a mother's bonded with a baby and is nursing them. Mm -hmm. She produces a lot of oxytocin and so is the child. Right. And by the way, babies love that. You know, not that everybody has to nurse, right? But that happens when a mother holds and coddles a baby as well. And also during sexual relations, that aren't people extremely? Having... It's the most frequently produced hormone for men and women. Oh, is by it? By the way, yeah. And that's what people, in a way, get used for. to. It's the cocktail. So I talk about neurochemical cocktails. Oh, right, right, right. right. Yes. Right. And what, so, so what is a neurochemical cocktail? So we start to feel good with people, mm -hmm. and it becomes an addiction. Yes. I, very quickly, human beings get addicted. As okay. soon as I'm with somebody, and I, boy, that was the best conversation I've had in years, right? And now I'm going to mark you. And let me just tell you how amazing our brain is. Uh -huh. I now have a spot in my brain. If this is our first meeting, there's a spot in my brain that becomes you. Right. Literally, it, it is. Mm -hmm. I hold that in me. And every time I meet you, I start to add data to that right. spot. I know. I have a filing you know, cabinet. It's, I know it's exactly. It's a filing yes. cabinet. Exactly yes. right. It's the most. Our brain is the most amazing ever created filing cabinet in the world. There's nothing that organizes it. So well the person that. that reaches out to the other starts to build oxytocin. Oxytocin levels. I, 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 even it, to anyone. So if I'm, because I meet people all the time. I yeah. guess that's why I feel good. Yeah. Is it, so it feels good to reach out to someone it, else. It feels amazing. So you reach out a lot. You're producing I, a lot of oxytocin. You do, I don't am. you? I, I yes. guess I do. I never knew. I, so, I feel good. The, so here's the fascinating <laughs> thing about oxytocin. Um, you know about autism. Yes. And autism is when children have difficulty connecting or reaching out, uh -huh. right? I did work with autism for uh -huh. a while before I got into doing uh -huh. corporate work. And there now is a um, something that you can sniff that's oxytocin sniffing uh -huh. that they give to children. They started it as an experiment uh -huh. to see if it could change autistic kids to make it easier for them to connect. I see. And lo and behold, squirting oxytocin in their nose, these kids began to have collaborative behaviors. Really? Reaching out behaviors, uh -huh. right? They didn't mind being touched behaviors. It's fascinating. Wow. So the, an autistic child might be oxytocin deficient. Is that what you're saying? Or the inability to produce those chemicals? Those chemicals are not, some, okay. for some reason, there's an interesting firing okay. problem about during the connecting phase. Mm -hmm. So getting back to like, you reach out to the person, you produce oxytocin, yes. and then what's the next phase it, of that? It makes it easy to speak, to ask questions, to be curious, okay. to talk. It actually facilitates the collaborative experience, the, what I call co-creation, where people are really engaged with each other. So then the mirror neurons in the other person will then reciprocate and produce oxytocin in them because you're producing oxytocin, I'm producing it, and we're just feeling good together. Is that the, how it the, works? The oxytocin isn't produced by the, neuro, uh, by the mirror neurons. Oh, it's not? No, it's produced by other parts of the body. But is the oxytocin parts. triggered by the... Sim so if, if you're reaching out and feeling good, yes. And I reach out back. And I'm, yeah, you're you reaching out back, then I'm... It's like an exchange of, it's well, like I'm... My chemistry will then mirror your chemistry. Yeah. So it may not be produced by the mirror neurons, but somehow there's a it, triggering. There's a triggering. And um, right. what, what Yuri Hansen figured out is that when people start to really get along with each other, the patterns of what was, where blood was flowing, blood flows to certain parts of the brain, and that's what then, that's what masters you at the moment. So if blood is flowing towards more sharing, uh -huh. then I'm going to be sharing more. Well, what makes more sharing? If I share to you and you share back to me, now we've triggered and activated that part of our brain, and we want to do more of it. Uh -huh. And then dopamine gets produced. What and that dopamine? feels so good. That's a feel good. That's well, isn't feel good. oxytocin feel good too? It's, it's a collaboration and love and bonding. Dopamine. But dopamine makes you feel, it's like drinking a drink and so, saying, ooh, I, that, I'm now a How do you get buzz. dopamine? How do you produce that? <laughs> if, if, you, um, if you get, it's like a reward uh -huh. in the body. So if I reach out, you reach out to me, and it feels good, I like it, mm. and I'm not feeling hurt. I'll say, wow, that was great. And so I start to produce more dopamine or adrenaline, which gives me more energy, like I want to do more of this. So all these chemicals are the cocktail that's being produced during engagement or and during sex or during friendship or so walking in the woods. 